Hello friends, this video on mechanical properties of fluids part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 18 before going ahead with part 19. We now study yet another law known as the Torricelli's law. It is named after the scientist Torricelli who invented the law. So this states that the speed of flow of a liquid from an orifice is equal to the speed that it would attain if falling freely a distance equal to the height of the free surface of the liquid above the orifice. So let us first understand the statement. Before we proceed with understanding the law, what is an orifice? Orifice is nothing but a small slit through which a liquid flows out. Let us consider you have a vessel somewhat like this, which consists of some fluid. Now you have a very small slit as you can see here. So what happens? The fluid starts flowing through this slit. Torricelli's law states that if a fluid is flowing through this slit in and it is contained in a closed container, then the speed with which this liquid will flow is equal to the speed with which a freely falling object falls such that the height from which a freely falling object falls is equal to the height of this slit from the free surface of the liquid. This is the free surface of the liquid. So this is the free surface of the liquid and this is the slit. So this distance, let us suppose if this distance is say h. So if this distance is h, then the velocity with which the liquid will flow will be equivalent to the velocity which a freely falling object attains if it is falling from a height h. Right? So that is what is meant by Torricelli's law. So here we will try to prove the truth of this law. So how do we do that? Let us see. Let us suppose that the area of this slit is A1. As you can see it is a very small slit. So this area A1 is also small. And let us say that the velocity with which the fluid is coming out is V1. Let us say that the area of the free surface of the liquid is A2. So this is A2 and let us also consider that the velocity of the liquid at the free surface is say some value which we are considering say V2. So from con continuity equation, so from equation of continuity we know that A into V is constant, right? That is the product of area and velocity of a fluid is constant. So here in this case the area multiplied by velocity should be constant at this slit as well as on the surface. So we can say that A1 V1 should be equal to A2 V2 where V2 is the velocity of the fluid at the free surface. That is what we have assumed as of now. So from this equation we can say that if area is more, the velocity would be less, right? So from the figure, it is very, very clear that the area at the free surface, that is A2, is very, very greater than A1. So this itself proves that the velocity V2, that is the velocity of the fluid at the free surface, will be very, very less when compared to V1. Now since for at the free surface, the fluid is normally at rest, so we assume that V2 will be equal to 0. So we approximate V2 is equal to 0 because we assume that the fluid will be at rest on the free surface. So since V2 is very very less than V1, we have assumed that V2 is equal to 0. Now let us apply Bernoulli's equation. So Bernoulli's equation states that the sum of pressure plus half rho v square that is kinetic energy per unit volume plus potential energy per unit volume that is rho gh is equal to constant. 
Now let us put or let us apply this Bernoulli's equation to this slit as well as to the surface. So let us write Bernoulli's equation for the slit. So what would be the Bernoulli's equation for the slit? It would be the pressure. What is the pressure at the slit? Pressure at the slit would be nothing but the atmospheric pressure because the slit is open to atmosphere. So this is Pa plus half into rho. V would be the velocity is nothing but V1. So it will be half rho V1 square plus rho into g into h. What is this h? This h is basically the height of the slit from the base. Now let this height. Let us consider that this height is y1. So we say rho g y1 is equal to constant. So we wrote the left hand side for the slit. Similarly, we will write the left hand side for the surface. Now at the surface, what would be the pressure? Let us suppose that the pressure at the surface is P. Velocity at the surface V2 is equal to 0. So the second term will not be there. And the last one that is potential energy per unit volume. So rho into G into H. What will be H? H would be the height of the surface from the base. Let us suppose we consider it as y2. So we say this is rho g y2. Now we can equate both of these. We will equate these two equations. So what do we get? We get Pa plus half rho v1 square plus rho g y1 is equal to P plus rho g y2. Now this we can write as P A plus half rho v1 square plus rho g y1 is equal to P plus rho g. What is y2? y2 is nothing but we can write it as okay leave it as y2 as of now first we will calculate this value so we will get half rho v1 square now what is our aim our aim is to find out the value of v1 because v1 is the velocity with which the fluid will flow through the small slit so this is half rho v1 square is equal to p minus p a plus rho g y2 minus y1. Now if you look at the diagram which we have drawn, we can see that y2 minus y1 is nothing but h. So we can write it as rho g h. So therefore from this we get v1 square is equal to 2 by rho into P minus P A plus rho G H. So this will be equal to 2 into P minus P A divided by rho plus 2 G H. So this will be V1 square. So V1 would be equal to root over of this value. So this is the velocity with which the fluid will come out through the small slit. Right, so this is the expression. Now this speed with which a fluid comes out through a small slit in case of a closed container is known as the speed of efflux. This is known as the speed of efflux. That is the speed of fluid outflow, the speed with which a fluid comes out of a small slit. Now in this case we will consider a case, let us suppose that here, we, what did we consider here? Here we consider that the tank or the vessel which contained the fluid is not open to atmosphere. It was a closed vessel with only a small slit. Now let us consider that 
the tank was open to atmosphere let us consider that the tank was open to atmosphere had the tank been open to atmosphere in that case the pressure p will also be equal to pa because the pressure at the top of the liquid surface will also be the pressure due to atmosphere as it is open to atmosphere in that case the velocity v1 will be equal to root over 2gh now what is this velocity this velocity is nothing but the velocity of a freely falling falling body through a height h so this is the speed of freely falling body so that that was what was stated in torricelli's law so the torricelli's law spoke about a special condition when it was considered that if you have a fluid contained in a tank which is open to atmosphere and if there is a small slit in that tank then the velocity with which the fluid comes out of the tank is equal to the velocity of a freely falling body now we can consider another case here where we can say that let us suppose that the tank is not open to atmosphere but the pressure p so this was our first case which we considered now let us consider another case where we do not say that the tank is open to atmosphere we say that the pressure p is very very greater than the atmospheric pressure if that is the case in that case the first term in this equation becomes very large when compared to the second term because the value of p is very large so we can ignore 2gh so in that case 2gh is ignored so the velocity v1 is determined by p alone so in that case velocity v is written as root over 2p by rho that means the velocity with which the fluid will come out of the container will be determined by the pressure p that is the pressure at the free surface of the fluid alone in that case the other hole or the atmospheric pressure will not have any role so that is what was torricelli's law thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again